Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the fastest way to become a cybersecurity analyst with no background experience. Now, by no means am I saying becoming a cybersecurity analyst is something easy to do or really quick. It actually takes a lot of time, a lot of discipline, a lot of efforts and patience in order to become a cybersecurity analyst and land your first job. Now, the reason why I say the fastest way to become a cybersecurity analyst is because the fastest way to become one is having a clear path path and learning plan to follow in order to reach your end goal. And since cybersecurity is so vast and there's so many different resources out there, I wanted to create this video to give you guys a clear and complete outline of what you need to do and what you need to look into and consider when looking to become a cybersecurity analyst. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and my career and journey throughout the industry. So if you guys want to learn more and follow the journey, be sure to subscribe and like the video. If you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. So first off, let's talk about why you should consider getting into cybersecurity. The first reason is because there's a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals. There's so many opportunities out there, whether it be from private companies or even the government. So it's a great opportunity for you, especially as someone who is a beginner, to look to learn the foundations and begin building towards landing your first job in cybersecurity. The second reason is because there's a lot of opportunity for career growth when it comes to cybersecurity and really tech jobs as a whole. As you continue to develop your skills and your knowledge and experience, you're going to start seeing some higher increases in pay and that trend is going to continue as you progress throughout your career. So with that being said, the first decision that you need to make as someone who is looking to start their journey in cybersecurity is first of all, deciding between the top three choices when it comes to your learning journey. The three main options that you have when it comes to your learning in cybersecurity is first of all, boot camps, college, or certifications slash self-learning. And within these three options, I've met several people in the cybersecurity industry who have taken each of these three options so in my opinion, there's no one correct choice when it comes to these three choices. And each of these three choices have their pros and cons. So for example, boot camps can be pretty expensive up front, but in exchange for that price tag, you get to learn a lot in a short time frame. On the other hand, college is a large time and money investment, but it continues to hold its value because employers still believe that college degrees can still be valuable and important. And thirdly, the certifications and self-learning routes are typically the least amount of money up front. It can also get you a job in cybersecurity or IT relatively quickly when you earn these certifications. And looking at the industry as a whole, it seems to me that they're pivoting away towards the traditional college route and more so the certification and self-learning route, and they really only care about the skills that you have. But as of right now, in today's age, I think these three options are still extremely viable in order to land a first job in cybersecurity. Now, don't get me wrong, all three of these options are going to require discipline, patience, and persistence over time. There's no easy way out. You just need to determine what kind of learning style you have, what's your budget, and how much time can you allocate towards this, and from there decide which option is going to be the best fit for you. Now, I've been doing some research and I came across Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity. And I think it could be a game changer for anyone looking to become a cybersecurity professional. Simply Learn is a premier online learning platform that offers a wide array of boot camps and courses designed to empower individuals in their career journeys. The postgraduate program offers engaging features throughout their curriculum, including video lectures, interactive components, program advantages, and tools, giving you the hands on experience to develop your knowledge and resume. Simply Learn also offers financing options and the career growth is substantial with numerous individuals transforming their careers through Simply Learn. Additionally, Simply Learn is ranked as the world's number one online learning bootcamp by Course Report, SwitchUp, and Trustpilot. Simply Learn is also reviewed and recommended by Forbes. They also offer additional courses on cybersecurity and several other specialties in their catalog. The courses are from world leading universities covering different subjects like data science, business analytics, project management and more so visit the link in my description below or in my pinned comment to try simply learn and to take the first steps towards advancing your career through online education and definitely hurry because the next cohort is starting soon with limited seats available thank you to simply learn for sponsoring today's video 
So now that you have an understanding of what kind of path you want to take when it comes to your education, the next step is making sure that you have a really good understanding of the basics of cybersecurity and networking. And this can be done through platforms like roadmap.sh, where it gives you an entire overview of what you need to learn in order to get some solid foundational knowledge of networking and cybersecurity. This website is going to be a great place to start, and they also have several free resources like YouTube videos that you can start learning from right away. You can also look into certifications like the Security Plus or the Network Plus to get that foundational understanding of cybersecurity and networking. So now that you have a foundational understanding of cybersecurity and networking, the next step would be starting to understand what kind of role you're looking for in cybersecurity and reverse engineering from there. So within cybersecurity, there's so many different types of roles. You have the offensive side, the defensive side, and then the CTI, whether it be the threat intelligence or GRC, governance, risk, and compliance, and a bunch of more different roles you can choose from. So make sure you understand what goes into to these different roles, what kind of skills you need, what kind of lifestyles they have and demand they have. And then from there, once you've decided what kind of role you want to do in cybersecurity, then you want to determine what kind of certifications and education and skills you need to learn in order to lead up into that role. All of the roles that I just mentioned all require different types of skill sets. So make sure you do your own research and really understand what is expected out of these roles and what kind of skills that you need. Some great ways to determine what kind of roles would fit you the best or get an understanding Understanding of what kind of skills are required for each of these roles is using platforms like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. These platforms have so many different learning paths, rooms, and CTFs that you can participate in and learn from, and from there decide on which role you want to do and what kind of skills that you need to learn. So once you have an understanding of what kind of role you want in cybersecurity, and also you have an understanding of what kind of skills, education, and certifications you need in order to land that role, the next thing would be being able to showcase your skills that correlate with that role that you wanna land in cybersecurity. The certifications are going to be your entry ticket to land a job interview, but the next step is gonna be actually having these skills and being able to showcase them when it comes time for an interview or actually being able to contribute when it comes to performing at your job. And building out a portfolio and completing your own projects is a perfect way to do exactly that. And just like the certifications, being able to find projects that directly correlate with what you're gonna do in that role is gonna be the best way for you to to showcase your skills and showcase to the employer that you have the skills necessary in order to perform at the job. So for example, if you're someone looking to get a SOC analyst role, maybe you look into some form of project that involves using a SIM or conducting an investigation. You can also use platforms like GitHub and a personal website to showcase your skills, your portfolio, and your different projects. Now throughout this entire process, the next step would be to start networking and building your online presence. So this means you can be doing some form of content creation, whether it be posting on media your own newsletter or building out your own personal website, just creating content and documenting your journey and your learnings is a great way for you to start putting that spotlight onto you and developing connections and you never know what can come out of it. You can also do things like joining cybersecurity forums and online communities on Discord and Reddit and also attending in-person events like conferences or in-person meetups. That way you can meet cybersecurity professionals and also people who are like-minded. And last but not least, at the end of this process, one of your main goal should be landing an internship. Internships are probably one of the best ways to break into cybersecurity because first of all, there's not a high amount of expectations because they know you're entry level or you've just gotten out of college and you're continuing your education. So they don't expect to have much from you, but at the same time, it's a great way for you to learn and meet new people and make connections and also get that professional experience. A lot of times after summer internships, they're going to offer you some form of return offer or after you're graduating, they're going to offer you a full-time job offer as well. Internships are a perfect way for you to get professional experience and continue bolstering your resume to eventually land your first full-time job in cybersecurity. So that entire walkthrough is going to be, in my opinion, one of the fastest way to break into cybersecurity. And when I say fastest, I'm talking about the most clear route that you can take in order to land your end goal working in cybersecurity. And make sure you stay persistent throughout the entire process. And I'm sure you guys will have no problem landing your first job in cybersecurity. With that being said, though, guys, if you found this video helpful and insightful, be sure to go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. With that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.